the Future Builder widget. When I press on this button, this will wait until we have the data and then it will display everything on the screen. So how do we use the Future Builder? The first thing we'll create is a future get data. This will be an async function. Inside you will await a future delay for once again. This just means we will wait for once again. Then we will return the data super. We will use this throw error later. Now inside the center widget, we will create the future builder. Inside we will have the future, which is the get data. The builder will have the context and the snapshot. Inside you can say if the snapshot dot connection state is equal to connection state dot waiting. So if we are waiting for the data, then it will return the circular progress indicator. And then we create another if else condition. If the snapshot has an error, then we will return something and otherwise we will return something else. So if we have an error, we will display a text widget with the snapshot dot error dot to string. And otherwise we'll return a column widget with a text that have the snapshot dot data dot to string. We will also use an elevated button and this one will have a set state inside the unpress function. The child will be a text refresh. Okay, so with all this, when we press the refresh button, this will trigger the function get data, we'll wait for once again, and then we'll return the data super. But what will happen if we throw an error? In this case, it will return the error widget. And this was how to use the Future Builder with your Flutter app.